For some reason, my stupid body thinks this weight is the best for me. It isn't. Drives me nuts. I say that I want to be healthy more than I want to be skinny, but when it came down to it, I really want to be skinny. So in February, I learned that I lost five and a half pounds of muscle in only three months on the carnivore diet. And I worked so hard to put muscle on. For some reason, my body likes to do the impossible. I eat carnivore for a year, only managed to lose 30 pounds. And those were only in chunks and it was only because I forced it to. I'm working out, I'm eating tons of protein, and my body loses muscle mass. I mean, possibly it could be bone mass, possibly it could be water, but I doubt it. I think it's muscle mass and I think, I don't know, but I think that I did it to myself with my calorie cycling. I think I just took my calories too low and my body did not like it at all. So it took my muscle and used it for fuel, which is wild. I just, I mean, I'm eating the recommended amount of protein, if not more, every single day. Drinking out of cups. Anybody get that reference? If you do, put it in the comments. I went wrong somewhere between November and January. Surprise, surprise, right? I mean, I didn't let myself go at Thanksgiving or Christmas. I was very, very regimented. But somehow I lost muscle mass. So I had a decision to make. Do I continue this building phase or do I transition into the cut phase? And I was still tracking obsessively. I used the chronometer app to keep track of my calories because it also tracks my blood glucose and ketones, which is very helpful. Um, but I got obsessed with it. I do that a lot. Uh, I like having data. I need the data. But when it came down to this decision, I realized I have a year's worth of data. I have all the data in the world and no answers. I don't even know how to properly interpret the data. So what's the point, you know? So I'm trying something new. I'm not going crazy. I'm not like eating burgers and fries and stuff like that. I'm still sticking within proper human diet principles. Maybe a few more berries, a, few, a little bit more cream. Uh, but that's it. I'm not going hog wild. I'm very scared of giving myself another flare. So I'm, I'm not even experimenting right now. I'm just sticking with what I know my body can handle. And that's a very short list of foods. And while my first inclination was to cut, like, oh my gosh, you've been eating too much for a month. You're going to blow up. You're blowing up! I feel funny! I'm not surprised. I've decided to continue this building phase, which terrifies me. I just need y'all to know that. That's when you've been trying to lose weight for a really long time, to transition and go into a surplus like purposely eating too much, it's a real mental struggle. It's not a physical struggle. I can eat the food, that's not the problem. The problem is with my brain telling me, you're gonna get fat. Oh my gosh, you've wasted a month. Now you're going backwards. I regained 10 pounds. So I literally am going backwards in my weight loss journey. I had hit 160 and that was the lowest I'd ever been. And now I'm back at 170, which is where I was for almost all of last year. So I've changed my approach nutritionally and in the gym. And in an upcoming video, I will show you what I do, how I work out over 40. So I'm going to continue eating past maintenance for the rest of March, except I'm not logging anything. That's even scarier because now I have no data that I can't interpret. And that's okay. I'll get over it. So I made a short back in February that I tried to go back on my calorie cycling plan and I just couldn't. My body was like, you are hungry, you must eat. I thought you were um, trying to lose weight. <laughs> Lay off me, I'm starving. And so since then, I really have been eating. Like I could have six eggs for breakfast and then eat a ribeye for lunch and still be hungry for dinner. That's wild. And so I was just listening to my body, trying to listen to my body and give it what it wants, which was lots and lots more food. And just recently, just in the past few days, I felt that hunger sort of calm down, which is great. Yesterday, I wasn't hungry for dinner. I had one meal at lunchtime, not hungry for dinner. 
that's how I usually am. But in the past month and a half, I have been ravenously hungry. And it's annoying because I get down to 160, my lowest all-time weight ever. And then all of a sudden my body's like, no, 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 eat more. So I eat more. But I don't want to lose muscle. I'm middle-aged. I can't be losing muscle. I cannot afford that. And if I'm working out every single week, I should not be losing muscle. If I'm eating 80 to 250 grams of protein a day, should not be losing muscle. I don't know if it's connected to my autoimmune or if my body just likes to mess with me. I don't know what's going on, but I'm going to figure it out. Y'all know I'm stubborn. I'm going to figure this out. And hopefully this can help some of you if you notice that you're suddenly ravenously hungry. And if you get your body fat percentage tested and you see that you've lost muscle, this is what you can do. It seems to be working for me. I put on 10 pounds in a month and a half. 10 pounds in a month and a half. It took me nine months to lose 10 pounds last year. Ugh, weight loss is frustrating. It is aggravating as I'll get out. I had to pivot. I had to change my mindset, which is incredibly difficult for me because I'm very stubborn. I still want to lose fat. I still want to be at 135 by June, but I just have to keep telling myself it might not happen. For some reason, my body is rejecting my efforts. But if I truly want to be healthy more than being skinny, this is something that I have to do. I have to eat more. I have to be uncomfortable with a building phase. And Robert Sykes, the Keto Savage, talks about the importance of not being in a cut for long periods of time and to go through cycles and periods of building. And that is something that I have not done in this journey. It's something that I'm trying now. And so my plan is to build for February's past. This is March. I'm gonna build through March. April 1st, my cut begins. That'll be April and May for the cut. And then in June, I'm going to not be cutting. I don't want to get to 135 and have it be because I lost all my muscle mass. I don't want to be skinny fat. I want to be fit. You know, I want to see abs. Never seen abs before. I don't want to look like a bug with an exoskeleton like some of the bodybuilders, but I just want to be, you know, soft, feminine, strong. So I really do want health over being skinny. And I encourage you that if it seems like your health is slipping because you're trying to get skinny, maybe it's time to dial back and to go through a building phase, as difficult as it is. But it really is fun. You get to eat a lot more food than you're used to and try to not feel guilty about it. Good luck with that. Next week, I talk about KetoCon and I've got something special for you. So make sure you check that one out, even if you don't plan to go. Last week, we talked about taking every thought captive, that not every thought that pops into your head is worthwhile. And if you missed that one, you can watch it here. Until next time, stay beautiful, friends.